Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Have It Out. Tonight we're going for a Buxton beer. It's a brewery I've not had an awful lot from. Which beer is it? It's this one. It is Wild Boar IPA. And it weighs in at 5.7%. And it is described as a modern classic IPA, bulging with fruity, juicy North American hops. A smooth mouthfeel, a moderate bitterness, and a gentle biscuity malt backbone. Sounds good. Uh, there's not a huge amount of information on the can, really. Uh, you've got your usual ingredients list. You've got your, uh, yeah, where well, we've got recyclable, don't drink if you're pregnant, all the usual spits and bobs. I have no worries of that, thankfully. Um, anyway, the canned on is the 20th of May, 2020. We're in the middle of June now, so it's, uh, it's relatively fresh. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it open into a can and see what we think. So. We're pouring into a tiny rubber glass because I have no Buxton glassware. The pour is, it is pale. It looks on the pour absolutely incredible. Look at that, look at that. It's, it's, it's murky, it's juicy, it's got a lovely finger and a half of white head that's nice and consistent and compact. That is a banging looking beer. And I can get some lovely juicy aromas off, off the off the pour as well. It looks superb, absolutely superb. And it's three quid a can in your local Morrisons. I to think for a minute there. Um, so it looks good, let's have a whiff. Oh, juicy. Sweet pineapple. Bit of orange, little bit of dankness going on. And a subtle, sharp aroma too. So juicy, dank, sharp, tropical. It smells amazing. Looks amazing. As I think we can all agree. Let's have a look up close. There we are. It's an incredible looking beer. Let's have a taste. Cheers. That is lovely. Mm. You've got beautiful sweet juice up front. You've got a little bit of bitterness going on. You've got a lovely smooth full mouthfeel. It's not heavy. It's full, and that's accentuated by that lovely little velvety sort of carbonation. Great, great beer, this. Mm. It's lovely. It's smooth. It's juicy. You've got a little bit of that dankness coming through on the flavour as well. No huge bitterness. It's middling. The finish is kind of orangey. I like this a lot. Oh, where's this been all my life? Where has it been? Spot on. There is a tiny, tiny hint of the alcohol, tiniest of hints. Yeah, it's only 5.7%, but there's just a little bit of something on the back end that just lets you know it's there and to kind of be careful. Because it's so easily drunk, it's smooth, juicy, tropical flavours just make you want to sit and just throw it back. You know, it's that good. Now, so you've got that super smooth, velvety mouthfeel. Perfect. Mm. I'm not going to drink all of that yet because I'll have nothing left to photograph if I do. Oh. It's lovely. So, Buxton Brewery Wild Boar IPA. What do I think of you? Would I buy you again? Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Who am I kidding? Of course I will. Um, would I rush out and buy it again? Yeah. 100% every day of the week. It's delicious. It is absolutely delicious. If you like them juicy, you like them a little bit tropical, at a sensible price, this is the beer you really ought to be considering at the very front of your list. Um, it fulfills the brief. It's juicy, it's fruity, 
A smooth mouthfeel, moderate bitterness, I agree with that. A gentle biscuity malt backbone though. Let's uh, revisit that, because I wasn't getting a huge amount of malt. There is a malty flavour, but it's overridden by the hops and the juiciness. So it, it, it almost perfectly fulfills the brief based on what it says on the can. Um, I can't fault it though, I really can't. Uh, it's It ticks most of my boxes. The only thing I would like, but again, it's not really the style. I'd like a little bit more bitterness. I like my IPAs super bitter, but this is, this has got some bitterness. It's got no pine resin really, to my taste buds anyway, but you have got things like, like you've got the dankness, you've got that sweet, juicy tropical flavor. Other than that, absolutely spot on so I need to now consider a score it's obviously more than four because I would rush out and buy it again is it perfect I like I say I'd like a little bit more bitterness I'd like a little bit of pine resin but again it's not brewed for that it's brewed to be sh super sweet and juicy and tropical and it fits that bill so I can't really knock it for that um, can't really find a reason it's bloody good value for money three quid for a 440 mil of quality craft IPA I can't I can't fault it at all so without further ado I'm just gonna cut to the chase and tell you it's got five out of five from me on the old untapped score sheet of joy so ladies and gents, boys and girls, we're at the time of the video where you know exactly what's coming down there are some buttons. You've got the like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you so please. But definitely, definitely let me know in the comment section if you've tried it and tell me what you think. And on that note, I'm going to go drink the rest of it. That's been the beer. I've been Nick and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.